Hey everybody, it's Misty and Scott from Millennium Luxury Coaches. We are on our third segment of what it takes to build your Millennium Luxury Coach. Okay folks, so as you take a look around behind us here, you will see several coaches here in the production lanes. Uh, various stages of production, but again, this video is focusing on coach number 172 and what it takes to build this coach. So we're going to go ahead and take a look around this coach. It's been a couple weeks, some things have been done and we just want to point those out to you and we're going to talk to a few of the guys who are working on this coach. All right, so let's take a look in the bays right now. In here you can see they started putting the plywood on the walls and the coin mat down on the flooring. Same thing in this bay as well. All right, so let me show you what's going on back here. This bay here, you can see where they've started pulling all the wiring. And over here, we have the shelving being built to put the house batteries in. All right, in this bay, we have our PowerTech generator. And here on the bay doors, you can see the insulation to help keep all the noise down. Right in this bay, we have our aqua hot set in, and the next step after this is we'll get it plumbed and wired. All right, that was a quick look at the bays in 172, and I'm going to turn it over to Scott so he can give you a, a look on the inside and what we've accomplished there. Right, here we are inside coach 172 I want to point out a couple things that's already happened in here you'll notice we've gone ahead and put our additional layer of insulation inside this coach it gets on both ceilings and all the walls on the slide out walls just that added little extra bit of insulation this coach is a quad slide flat floor so we protect the floor during the build process we we put this plywood down so that nothing falls down in between and future cause damage to the seal or the mechanism. Here on the roof you'll see a lot of the duct work is already prepared and installed. We make all of our own duct work here in house. If you look up in here we've got roof airs already mounted on on the coach. Again all this duct work is built in house. We have all of our roof supports for our ceiling structure so once it's ready to go in the guys can just go ahead and, and bolt it right to the ceiling come on back a little further I pointed out in the last video uh, the guys have marked the flooring so we kinda have a, a layout of where everything goes inside the coach so when they're building they gives them a reference point right here folks this is our generator and aqua hot exhaust we exhaust both through the roof so it gets the heat and that smell up on the roof of the coach instead of outside when you're trying to live and enjoy life outside the coach. Um, we enclose all this. There's a, actual another pipe inside this solid pipe that's the actual exhaust and these are heat shields to protect it inside the coach. A lot of wiring starting to happen in here. Uh, guys started pulling wiring through the coach. A lot of the preliminary. This is still in the rough end stages. You'll notice vent fan for the private labs already installed guys are really cranking getting this thing going uh, come on back to the back again ceiling uh, vent fan is already installed uh, they started laying preliminary pieces for uh, PVC for uh, the toilet and they're cranking right along so you can see a lot of things coming along inside this coach. There's a couple little things I do want to point out to you. You don't ever get to see this on the finished product, but right here, these clear lines are condensation drip tubes for the air conditioning units on the roof. So you'll notice they come up the roof and then each one runs to an air conditioner. And then they come down, the drains will actually drain down and then they come through the floor right here and then they go down on the driver's side of the coach uh, two roof 
two roof airs in the rear of the coach, so mid coach and rear of the coach, drain on the driver's side rear, and then the salon and the galley ACs will drain towards the front tire on the driver's side. Keeps that water, that condensation away from you while you're outside uh, living on the passenger side of the coach, doing your entertaining or just enjoying the coach. So let's walk through, you can see just a few other things. Again, a lot of the preliminary wiring has been started on this coach. Um, if you come up here, you can see they've started, got some of the uh, window blocks in. So they'll start uh, uh, pre-wired already for sconce lights and, and fixtures. So they're moving right along on this coach. Some of the guys in here doing a few things inside the coach. We got Billy here. He's working on securing the duct work now that it's all installed and complete. Um, Billy, how long you been with the company now? Been about two years. Two years, okay. Billy's involved on every single coach that comes through the production line. He's one of the first people to get on the coach and take care of uh, all your responsibilities. So some of the things you do, of course, you in help install duct work. What else do you do in here? Other than the doctor, we work on the uh, installation. Work on the installation. Um, other than that, I do the uh, blackout for the blackout. Oh, you talk about for the windows, right? For here? the windows, yeah. Okay, so when we put the when when all the cabinetry and everything go in, folks, we put this blackout so that you don't see the backside of our cabinetry, so that you get that nice, clean, fresh look from the outside of the coach looking in. Billy, are you part of the team that takes care of doing all the insulation in here as well? Yes, sir. How long does that typically take for you to do this whole insulation in this coach? I was about, about two days. Two days? Two days. Okay. All right. And then uh, I, I see we add roof structure. Um, right. So that comes in after the, insul after the insulation. How long does that process usually take once it's all prepped, ready to come in? Uh, about a day. About a day? Okay. Yeah, about a day. Great. And then do you take care of... Uh, uh, get it once the ACs are mounted. You, you do the plenum box and everything to, to force the air where we're trying to force the air to. Correct. Yes. Great. All right. Hey, thank you for your time. I'm not going to hold up the work a minute. Thank, thank you. you. You're welcome. All right. Back here at the back of the coach, Michael is starting some of the rough end plumbing that's going to happen back here in the rear lab. Michael, how long you been with the company now? Four and a half years. Four and a half years. Overall, what is your uh, what what's your role in the company? I know you're one of the first guys to come inside the coach as well. What do you take care of? What's your role or responsibility inside here? Um, mechanical tasks. Okay, so you take care of things like preliminary plumbing. What what other uh, uh, whatever tasks are needed? Um, uh, generator install, aqua hot install. Um, okay, this is a guy that that gets that big generator in, gets it ready to roar to life for us. Are you part of the team that puts the roof airs on the coach as well? Yes. Okay. What what goes into that? Pro I mean, I know we physically cut a hole in it, but to, just to mount one roof air on top of our coaches, how long does that typically take us? Um, I would say a couple hours. Great. And I, I was up there. I, I showed the folks some of the things that we have going on on the roof. Uh, I talked, showed them a couple video uh, seconds of video on on our exhaust that comes through for the generator and the aqua hot. Are you part of the team? That I know you're mechanical. Do you also do the the awning installation and the brackets to yes. secure the awnings on the roof? Yes. It's a lot that goes in up there, isn't there? A lot of work. Okay. Again, folks, Michael <coughs> been with the company four years. Another great asset to our team. Come by the shop, make sure you come by and say hi to these guys. They're working hard to, working hard to make your custom luxury coach. All right, hey folks, we're up here on the roof of the coach. Um, first things first, safety is first and foremost here at Millennium. So I've got my safety harness on and I'm secured, ready to show you a couple things up here. So the first thing I wanna point out to you is they've done the awning brackets already. So they're bolted down to the coach, sealed up pre-wired for the awning motors and for all the LED lights that we put on it for you. So this is all done on both sides. 
the guys have already taken and mounted the 15,000 BTU Dometic roof airs. All four of them are up here. They're secured. They're just waiting to be powered up right now. Let's look back here a little, a little bit. So right here, we've got these two big lines. This is intake outtake for the radiator. We put the generator radiator here on the roof. A couple reasons. One, free real estate. It's up here. It's out of the way. We don't have to tie up a bay. Second reason is you get all the heat off the radiator. It's not blowing out underneath the coach. You don't have the fumes or anything down below, as well as our aqua hot and generator exhaust up here. So if we look back here, I showed you inside the coach where the pipes were coming up through. Right here's where they are on the roof of the coach. So they'll go ahead, they'll dress these out and put uh, nice chrome tips on it, make it look all snazzy. Again, uh, vent, vent fan for the private lab, and then back there in the back of the coach, you'll see the one for the rear bath. Just some things that are going on up here. Um, guys are making some great progress. Let's go take a look around the coach a little more. Okay, folks, that was another segment on Coach 172, what it takes to build your custom Millennium Luxury Coach. Misty, what do you think so far? The guys coming along pretty good? Yeah, they're making really good progress, and I think it's coming along great. Yeah, I'm really impressed with how far they've got along in just a short period of time. They seem upbeat and ready to continue working on this coach, so stay tuned, and we'll have more videos on Coach 172. Thank you. Thank you.